We're going to get to it. Can you hit me with my first article, please? Okay. So we're going down to the great state of Texas. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Something's crazy going on in the trucking world. So one was killed and 13 people were injured in a recent incident. It reads as follows. A big rig plowed into a Texas Department of Public Safety, a.k.a. the DMV for y'all who ain't from Texas, uh, in an apparent intentional act. Officials said Friday one person was killed. At least a dozen people were injured um, at a news conference Friday afternoon. It says that a suspect stole the 18-wheeler and crashed it into the office in Brenham, about 75 miles west of Houston. That's like Katy area. Um, in a deliberate heinous act. Uh, says State Senate's Lewis Colts uh, in a statement on social media, where he said the suspect identified as 42-year-old Clintard Parker was denied his commercial driver's license the previous afternoon at the Brenham office. A deputy was chasing the stolen rig, which took a hard right into the DPS office and appeared to crash into a driver's license waiting area. Uh, Parker of Chapel Hill was arrested and is in custody at the Washington County Jail online in an inmate record show. He's facing multiple charges, including evading arrest, unauthorized use of a vehicle. Parker will appear in court on Saturday, the Washington County Sheriff Department said. Jeez Louise, but you just said Texas was the great state. We got to watch going there. <laughs> what do you think his gripe was? Do you think this is in a situation where um, you... We're dealing with mental illness or he's tired of being screwed over. I, honestly, I'd say it's a combination of the two. Cause I mean, you got to be pretty out of your mind to go drive into the side of a building. I don't care how angry you are, especially if it resulted in somebody dying. Um, honestly, I believe it could have been, I mean, it could have been a number of things as to why he didn't get his license back. It could have been a medical card issue. He may have failed one of the written tests, you know, who's to say is, I mean, it's, it's a broad, I mean, considering he's older in age, I would say it was probably medical related. He may not have, gotten his uh, medical car recertified at the you know proper time that he was supposed to or may have just been denied altogether but you know i understand it's hard out here for truckers things are rougher than they've ever been but there's no reason to go crashing into the side of a building and hurting people like come on now we're better than that so the question comes to this this article brings us to the question of mental health if you have to have almost excellent mental health to get a gun you know, they check your report. Is trucking doing that? Is trucking saying, are you crazy? They shouldn't. And I feel like they should be. I mean, honestly, I feel like it should have always been a thing as far as the regulation, the standards. I mean, we already have to go through a medical health exam. Why not just go ahead and add in the mental health state? Because truth be told, <laughs> we drive a building on wheels like that thing can hurt people in the wrong hands. So. You know, especially for the fact too, it, it take it a step further when it comes to like the uh, regulated side as far as like drug usage and things like that. How you have to get cleared if you're on certain types of medication. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it would wouldn't hurt that if we already have to be checked for it. Why not go ahead and find out that if we're not on medication, if we should be. And my and I'm not saying we got to be on hard drugs and antidepressants and all that. It could be as something as simple as taking supplements. Like for myself personally. I deal with depression. I deal with different mental health issues. I found that personally taking the correct supplements to offset my deficiencies keeps me relatively in check. Right. And you think this person probably just did not do that? He no. failed and he said, screw it, I'm going to crash out. Yeah. I mean, considering the average age of truckers is, you know, 36 and up, a lot of people, you know, of generations past, they either just learn to endure with the illnesses and, and shortcomings that they've had to deal with or just in general, just not taking care of themselves. Because again, trucking is, you know, it can be very hard on the health. So that gives me a video idea and we're going to shelf it. I need you to write this in your notes. Sure. Um, when mm -hmm. should a trucker convert from being a trucker mm -hmm. to a truck driver local? Okay. When should a trucker convert from OTR to local. Being basically. Yep. Meaning when should you stop being a OTR driver 30 days out of the time and when should you switch to being a local guy where you can eat your own food from home and take care of yourself? Absolutely. We're going to get we're going to we're going to do a separate video on that. I don't know how how uh Phil's schedule is over there but um I mean, we could do the stream tomorrow if y'all want us to. We'll have that greater conversation. 
But uh, other than that, you know, I hope everybody well. I hope the families get help. Did anybody die? Yes, unfortunately, one person lost their life. They said they had to treat eight people on the scene, and there was an additional total of 13 people injured in this incident altogether. Yeah, he's he's out of here.